Um, welcome everyone to the afternoon session. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, welcome everyone to the afternoon session. Um, hope everyone had a good lunch. First talk of the afternoon is Accelerating 3D Indoor Space Construction from Point Clouds with Deep Learning by Wijay Chu. Nice to meet you. My name is Wijay Cho. I'm working in the AIST Data Platform Research Team. Today, I will introduce our develop, develop titled Accelerating 3D Indoor Space Construction from Point Clouds with Deep Learning. It is an approach oh, approach related to how to make 3D model easily and quickly. The present, uh, presentation will conducted in follow orders. I will introduce our phase out process and, th and then uh, show the <coughs> demo of our systems. To construct 3D models from from point cloud data, we generally show show the uh, general generally follow the steps. First of all, we need to segment segment the data from low points, and then we need to make surface al alignment uh, surface and alignment the it, uh, them each other. Actually, it is performed using manpower, so all tasks involve the high, involve the very high time consuming and lower, lower extensive. So we think how to make, uh, how to, how to improve the process to quickly and easily. So we are starting the project to automatically generate, automatically generate a 3D model from low point. Before we start, we need, we need two pieces of background. First material is point cloud data. Point cloud data is a set of data point which is reflected uh, real, real world by 3D scanning. It, uh, the important things is point cloud includes geometry information, color, intensity, uh, intensity, and several features, and so on. Especially, we use the geometry information of point clouds to constructing 3D models. Second material is CTGML. CTGML is the most important things in our process to process because we are using the CTGML to express our 3D models. CTGML is the, is an open data model and and XML based format for existing exchange and stored digital 3D models of cities. The aim of development of CTGML is to reach it a common definition of the basic entity attributes and relations of a 3D city model. Uh, we use uh, we use our implementing the indoor space, implementing the building to express the indoor 3D models. The building, building is multi-scale model with five well-defined consecutive levels of detail. Implementing, we are creating a 3D indoor model by implementing the levels of detail for structures. Levels of, first, levels of detail for is architectural models of indoor environment. We, we defined our relationship between feature and geometry to make each element of LD4. So now we know, know that the point cloud has geometry information and 
we can't create a 3D model to define the relationship between feature and geometry. So we make the process architecture for pins out. It is the express process for building 3D indoor models. In this process, we, in this process, consists of three parts of functions. First function is semantic segmentation for classify segmentics from point. And next, second one is polygonization to construct polygons from points. Last one is featureizations to map between the semantic features and surface. We use the open source, uh, open source to each process, uh, each process, deep learning and point cloud library and 3D CTDVs. So as a result, we get the 3D indoor models following CTGML. Now I, I explained, I will explain the detail of each functions. First function is deep learning for segment, semantic segmentation. Deep learning can help to analyze massive point cloud data in terms of classification, clustering, segmentation, annotation, and so on. PointNet is is popular open deep neural network for analyzed point cloud data. We use the of PointNet to segment indoor components such as Word, selling, Windows, and so on. Using the building parcel data from Stanford University to test our system. In this progress, we make the semantic information of point cloud. Now next, pro next process is polygonization by PCA. We, we made a uh, semantic information so we create, create the surface from semantic segmentation result. Using the geometry and semantic information of point cloud, PCL is the open source project for 2D, 3D image, and point, cl point cloud processing. It contains the number, number of states of the art algorithm. We using the LANSEC algorithm to extract the plane to separate each, uh, separate our semantic information. Last, last function is visualization by 3CTDB. We, we have the we have geometry and semantic information. So we map, mapping, we are mapping the geometry and semantic information using 3D CT schemas. We use the we use the 3D CTDB to deal with the CTGML for constructing 3D indoor, indoor models. 3D CTDB is free, free database to store, represent, and manage the virtual 3D CT models on, the, on top of a standard special relational database. Database schema implements the CTGML standard. Special relational database schema for semantic 3D city model. Now, we end, uh, end of this process, we can create the city GML for a 3D model using the 3D city DB. We, can in, uh, we are encoding each feature with geometry following city GML architecture. As a result, we get the CTGML, 3D models of CTGML. But however, we, there are some challenges in during this process. First challenge is simplification. Uh, semantic segmentation do not consider a surface geometry. It means classifying all points which are same labels to the one semantic, like, such a, uh, like as this feature. So we need to separate points following each surface geometry, like 
like a second feature. Simplifying surface to eject, uh, extract the feature point using the LENSEC algorithm to make the intersection line between each surface. We, are, we try to find an uh, intersection point between each intersection line to make a feature point. But, but we, ha we have also different problem in this process. It, it is the missing, missing the intersection line. There are some incomplete parts from the scanning task, so we cannot make a perfect surface because of missing point, like, like a second picture. We're creating a plane of surface by using the intersecting planes. We are generating a bounding box following a surface outline, like last picture. Make, uh, we, we are making the planar surface using the bounding box. Last challenge is topological derivation. Picture must be represent, uh, represented uh, as holes within the closed wall in the CTGML. We are considering pictures such as windows and doors in this project now. We need to find the position of picture where it is attached, like second picture. We try to find the intersection point between wall surface and bounding box of door or window. And then as the intersection point of feature to the wall surface which is matched, like as third feature. Now, now we are, uh, I show the demo video, our all processes. We used the point cloud data from the Stanford University. It's so best, so I will, I will. We used a separate the LENSEC algorithm using the polygonization PCL to make the points each surface to information and then we put Visualization the three CTDVs like world surface points and each indoor models, and then encoding the visualization on the three CTDVs. And we can find the. <laughs> Sorry. The export to CTGML. We can visualize of the 3D models. Comparing between the low point data and second one is our pin out result. So conclusion is the it automatically changed the set of process that had been done have it done manually and produces the result. Generate approximately models even if they do not match it perfectly. So currently we can just convert to simple models, but you joined our Finstar project, we can, even, we can make the more details buildings. Our future work is need to processing not only plane but also covered surface and complex selling representation and convert to special reference reference systems. So, thank you for attention. Attention. Thank you.
you have any questions? Uh, I have a question about the last slide. Uh, you mentioned about converting SRS, a uh, special reference system. What do you mean about con uh, by conversion of special reference system? Do you mean that uh, there are some uh, kind of uh, uh, reference points uh, on the model which you would like to convert to a uh, well-known SRS? Yeah, yeah. Okay. see, yes. And because those samples, universe data doesn't have those uh, SRS calls, so we make the once a uh, reality site, we can change the SRS uh, reference calls, change the. But this SRS is based on the reference points uh, directly on the model, or, or uh, by the uh, reference point as the point of the scanner when where the scanner is uh, placed. Uh, uh, what's the technology of uh, getting those points? Okay. I am so normally, <laughs> may I, may I keep, I'm now working with you, okay. but I know that problem. So if you want to, you have to define some control point, matching okay. with yes. that model, with mm -hmm. the absolute reference system. Then we may convert using, for example, Optin transformation or whatever, any other transformation algorithm. Okay, and from which uh, tools in uh, Postgres, uh, which tools do you use to uh, store uh, particle data? In Postgres, because you store the data, point of data in Postgres, yes, as I understood. So it is not. <laughs> it is today. <laughs> so could you say again? I'm not. Uh, where do you store uh, point of data? Store. And which structure in uh, files on the Postgres database? Of uh, Postgres database. Okay. I. I and yes. uh, how uh, do you structure this Postgres data, uh, the, the point build data? Do you keep it in blobs or BLOBs, or do you have uh, some kind of tools which are used as a middleware between Postgres and uh, you, you use those tools to keep uh, point build data in? Um, actually, we have built our own database for this data. Okay. So we have a set of procedures just to store the point field data in yes. Postgres database, yes? yes. Okay. So did you wrote all of those of the procedures by yourself or do you use open source tools? Uh, uh, we are combined. Mm -hmm. Okay, and which other kind of tools do you use to store uh, point code data in Postgres database, which are widely known and uh, accessible? It's open source. We are developing that. Okay, so, so you are the pro creator. Nice, thank you very much. You talked about point cloud segmentation. Yes. Point plan, yes. Is it possible to do transfer learning in order to add classes to? Uh, yeah, yes, so the yeah, actual. If so, how the training data looks like and how you label that data, actually, we need to make the training data. We manually label But how do you how do you label it? Because it should be a cluster of points in the other, right? Yes, we have the tool to annotate. And if you have, for example, a cluster of points representing a chip or a table, how do you segment, like in the first place, how do you segment only that amount of points in order to label it? Sorry. You, when you how do you first get data for labeling, or are you just doing a lot of scanning and then you are cutting a piece of the point cloud and you label that? And actually, as you know, it's very uh, time complex task to do by manual. So yeah. our the first step of the mountain is based on the most of the map. So we just put in the new learning and get the data from the network, and then we just revise. Yeah, but if, for example, 
you look, you cannot find chairs. Yeah, there you go. You need not all computers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It depends on the model. Yeah. For example, the images you take the images, you do a, a square and a label and so. But it's actually you can understand how you can do it in point cloud. That's right. Yes. session. So uh, thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you.